Hey everyone, it's John from Campfire Hosting here. Today we will be showing you the fastest way to download and install the Minecraft Cobblemon mod, as well as how to create a Cobblemon server that all your friends can join. If you don't know, Cobblemon is a Pokemon Minecraft mod where you can explore, catch, train, and battle Pokemon in an immersive Minecraft world. This mod is really fun and it's one that I personally love, so let's get into it. The first step is downloading and installing NeoForge. You can also install Cobblemon using Fabric, but for this video, we'll stick to NeoForge. NeoForge is a mod loader for Minecraft and is needed if you want to run multiple mods alongside Cobblemon. So, you can see here that the latest version of Cobblemon is for Minecraft version 1.21.1, so that's the version of NeoForge we'll download. So first, we'll go to the NeoForge website, and you could just either put in the website or Google NeoForge. Then we'll select other versions and click the version list. Select Minecraft version 1.21.1 and click download. Once the NeoForge installer has been downloaded, we'll go ahead and locate the installer. It will most likely be in your downloads folder. We'll right click the installer and open with Java. Now if you don't have Java, we'll have to go ahead and download and install Java first. To do that, we will Google download Java click on the second link here, go to JDK21, and find the correct Java version for your operating system, either Linux, Mac OS, or Windows. I am using a Windows computer, so I will click Windows, and I will use the x64 installer. We will click download here, and wait for the installer to download. Once that's done, we'll double click, or open, you can see here that I already have a version of Java installed, but that's okay. I will click reinstall and show you guys what the process looks like. Click next, next, and Java is now installing. Just like that, we have now installed Java. We can now proceed with installing NeoForge. Locate your NeoForge installer, most likely in your downloads folder, right click, and open with Java. You should see the NeoForge installer pop up. If you see red on this last line here, it means you most likely do not have Minecraft installed, so you should go ahead and install Minecraft. But if it's all good to go, we'll hit proceed, and, and NeoForge is now installing. Once this step is done, we can go ahead and download the Cobblemon mod. Alright, NeoForge has been successfully installed. So the next step is to find the Cobblemon mod. You can find the Cobblemon mod in a few different places, but we will be downloading Cobblemon from CurseForge. So we can Google CurseForge Cobblemon and click on this first link here. So once again, we want to make sure that we have the correct game version and we are using 1.21.1, so we can just click that. Since we're using NeoForge, we can locate the NeoForge Cobblemon mod, right click on the three dots and click download a file. One other mod we have to download in order to run Cobblemon is Kotlin for Forge. Kotlin is a language mod that is also a dependency for Cobblemon. So if you don't have Kotlin downloaded already, go to curseforge.com slash minecraft and search Kotlin for Forge. You can find this first mod here, click inside, look for game version 1.21.1, which is what we were using before, find the latest version, and then click the three dots and select download. Once we have the two mods downloaded, we can now open up our Minecraft launcher, go to the installations tab, and open up the NeoForge installations folder. Now we can locate the mods folder and copy our mods directly into the mods folder. Once your mods are loaded into the NeoForge mods folder, you can now start up NeoForge and let the mods install. Just like that, we are done and you can now go ahead and try Cobblemon out yourself. The next part of the video will showcase how you can easily create a Cobblemon server that all your friends can join using Campfire Hosting. Campfire Hosting is a credit-based Minecraft server hosting service that is only pay for what you play. So it's really affordable if you're looking to have your server up just a few hours a day. You also get two hours to try for free. So to start, we want to create an account then head to the control panel. Then we will click add server. 
We'll change the server type to NeoForge. We'll change the Minecraft version to 1.21.1, which is the version of our Cobblemon. We'll give our server a name. We'll call it John's Cobblemon server. And give yourself a subdomain. You will use the subdomain to connect to your server. After that, we'll click Create Server and give it a second to create. Once your server is created, we want to hit Start Server. And what this will do is load up your server. And we want to do this step so that we can generate the mods folder and the appropriate files necessary for us to load the Cobblemon mod into the server. During your first start, the server will take a few minutes to load up the appropriate files. But once your server has started, you have now a fully working vanilla server that you can go ahead and test using the subdomain that you have created. But for us to load the mods in the server, first we will have to stop the server, go to action, click save and stop server. Once the server is stopped, we can now move our mod files into the server mod folder. To do this, we can navigate to the file managers tab. And we can use the online files man file manager if your mods are small. But most mods are pretty big, so we will need to use FileZilla to move the files into the server. First, we want to create an SFTP user. This is just login credentials to allow you to move files into the server. You can give yourself any username and any password. And then click Create User. Once, that, once that's done, we can go ahead and download FileZilla. You can follow the links here or Google search FileZilla. So since I'm using Windows operating system, I'll click on this link. This will navigate me to the FileZilla download and we'll click download FileZilla client. We can just download the basic one here. Once FileZilla has finished downloading, we'll go ahead and locate the FileZilla installer. It should be in your downloads folder. So we can double click, run the installer. This is the agreement. We can click I agree. This optional offer, we will decline. Since I already have FileZilla installed, we can go ahead and do a reinstall. But if you don't have FileZilla already installed, this will just proceed with a normal installation. We can click Next, 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 and click Install. Once that's done, we can now start up FileZilla. We're now in the final stretch. We will use FileZilla to move the mods from our local computer to the server. First, we need to set up a SFTP connection. We can navigate to our campfire hosting control panel under our server, go to file manager, and you can just follow the instructions here, but I will go over it just in case. We can go back to FileZilla, click on the icon here, and click new site. For the FTP protocol, we will click SFTP. For host, you can copy the host right here. For port, you can see the port is 3, 330, so we will put 330. The user and password will be the SFTP user that you created up here. So I will copy my username and then my password. Connect. Okay. Just like that, you can see we have connected to our world files. The final step is moving the mods from our local computer into the online server mods folder. So since we don't have a mods folder, we'll go ahead and create one. Right click create directory, we'll call this mods. We'll locate the mods on our computer. And in my case, it's under, it's in the downloads folder. So I will go ahead and drag the cobble mod mod first into the mods folder, let it upload. And once that's complete, we'll go ahead and move the Kotlin mm -hmm. for Forge mod in as well. So we'll go ahead and move this into the mods folder as well. And we're done. Now we should be able to start up our campfire hosting Cobblemon server and log in like you usually would. I'll go ahead and change the select package just to give our server a little bit more juice and then I'll hit start server. Once our server has successfully started, we can now open up our Minecraft launcher. Click add server. Your server address is the subdomain that you created before. Your friends can join using this as well. So mine is john hosting. Dot com, click done. And just like that, you have now a multiplayer Cobblemon server that all your friends can join. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have fun with the Cobblemon mod.